on the bass. Do my down, you know, on the bass. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, hey, hey, Instagram. It's me, T. From the Patterson's taking the trench to Tibet. Well, I'm trying to get back into my regular groove. This is it's, it's a Monday, and uh, you know I do these tirades every day. Well, I call them tea tirades, but you know it's just me blabbing, right? So anyway, hey, I know I'm supposed to say Carolyn, but I like to say Cam Three. I don't know why, you know, but hey, Carolyn. Uh, here's the thing. It's a me day, right? And I have been suspending my, my days, like, like Mondays are me days, I talked about me, and Tuesdays is a U.S. days, whatever happened in the States, um, Wednesdays is a world day, what's happening in the world, you know, as I interpret it. Uh, Thursdays is audio drama day, which is always the best. <laughs> Fridays is like a, a week wrap up, and I still haven't named that day yet. Saturdays is like whatever comes to my head. Sundays I'm supposed to read something, then then go off, whatever, don't worry, don't worry about that. But this is a Monday, it's supposed to be a me day. And but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna do the me but I'm gonna since we since we're close to the uh, uh what do you call that we're, we're we're close to the U.S. elections which I'm not there I'm in South Africa right now I'm in the Eastern Cape you know blah 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 uh, it's a whole long story I supposed to be in the states I didn't get to the states the youth there so I can't vote they you know blah, blah, blah. but pfft, things will take care of itself they don't need me this year right but uh, I do forget all that stuff let's get back to let's get to the point now here's the thing. I, I, people have been listening, listen to listening to me for a while. At a very young, well, at the age of seventeen, I was uh, I was in the, uh, the Negro Ensemble Company as a, a, an intermediate acting class, which is well, actually, at that time, Negro Ensemble. We're t we're talking like nineteen sixty seven, and uh, at that time, uh, you know, we were trained in everything in theater. You know what I mean? It was, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, everything. Really. Set design, lighting, acting, we had dance class, karate class, we had all kinds of, oh yeah, shout out, since I mentioned that, shout out to Lewis Johnson, you know, dance brother. Then they, they, they had just extraordinary people there. Uh, and, uh, you know, let me put it this way, I was the only kid in the class, I'm saying kid because that's how old I was, I was like the second youngest uh, at the time, but um, I was the only one who came from the projects. <laughs> From the ghetto, everybody else, you know, they like, you know, whatever it is. And I had that whole, that whole mentality, right? And uh, and, and I guess that even back then, like, I had this, this, I had this energy, right? That I, I have to sort of admit these days, you know. And it's always traveled with me, like this, this, you know, this, just energy. It's, it's an energy, right? Um. And so anyway, so 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 um, one of the one of the. Uh, uh, I just gotten out. I just oh yeah, I went just seventeen. That's right. I was still in high school. Then I got out. Oh, the sixty eight. Then when I graduated high school, uh, 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 yeah, I was in England some before I, before I left high school, and then uh, I went to to college. Right by the time that we had these, you know, we took over the schools and stuff like that, and um, but another. Uh, uh, I guess this girl, because she was young too, a little bit older than me, because I was a second. Um, uh, was also in class, and like I said, I have this presence, this whatever it is, and so we had to uh, do presentations at the right place. So one of the this girl, uh, Joan, her sister had these two sisters, right? They were, they were from New Jersey, and uh, she renamed herself uh, Kashasha. Her name is Kashasha. In fact, you know the, the the film Black Girl, right? Well, that's based on a play. That she was the leading character, with whatever. When they when they, when they made it a movie, uh, you know that's how it is. The plays, you know, take the, the actors, which whatever. Anyway, we we're in the same class, and she and because of my presence, and I, like I was, so, I was so unusual in the class, just a unusual cat. She wrote a play for me. That, that when I say for me, I was like the, the not the. I was a the, 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 I was a character in the play, okay. And the play is called The Last Dragon, not, not the movie The Last Dragon, which Michael Schultz directed, but also Michael Schultz was the uh, acting teacher at the time. It was a very strange guy. I, I'll tell you, but that's another kind of story. Uh, but anyway, uh, and this is about this uh, the, 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 this land, this 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 land of heaven, and it's this dragon, the the the, the, the king of the land, whatever. They 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 grab this dragon, you know, and and they sort of persecute the dragon, a symbol of the black, you know, because I was a black militant, really black militant. Back, back then, and uh, so anyway, so so put this play on, and let me put it this way: uh, I'm not, I am good at what I do when I 
do it, right? I'm not really a, I don't really like, I'm not really an acting person, but when I do something, I really get all the way into it, right? Uh, and um, so after that play, um, this is still in high school, uh, but after that play, that was done when I was still in high school, I was still 17 at that point. Then when I turned 18, at that, my birthday, 18th birthday, I was running the lights for Daddy Goodness. Uh, the, the, uh, uh, it's, a, it's, it's actually a, uh, um, a Richard Wright play. You don't know. It's called Daddy Goodness. It was. It was don't worry about it. Anyway, um, and uh, who directed that? It wasn't Michael. Well, anyway, Michael. It wasn't Michael. But anyway, I was. I was. Uh, I forgot who directed. It. Who? I gotta look that up. Um, but the next uh, thing, because I was doing the lights and everything like that, because um, running the lights for that. Right. But then the next piece they was doing was. Uh, I think it was. Oh, God is a guess what. Well, Michael was directing that. I think it was God is a guess what. Anyway, so so I, and I I was like the technical stuff, so I'm working back there. And so Michael and uh and Buddy Butler, who was doing the, who was doing the lights, uh, they came to me and they said, well, you know, Anthony, uh, you know, we need people behind the camera. They said camera for some reason theater, but they said camera. I don't know why they. I remember that clearly. Remember that's kind of strange. And they said, no, but you know, people can act. We can get actors all over the place. But, but and this time, remember, this is 1967. So what's happening is uh, we needed black people, you know, to, to take up some technical positions, you know, because everybody wants to be a celebrity, a star, whatever it is. But very few people have the acumen or whatever, have the skills to, you know, to, to, to you know, be lighting designers. But, or, like, anyway, so, so, so they said, you know, you're, 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 you're a pretty good actor. They were being kind, right? Uh, but you know, I, we, we see that you you know you're really you know this this lighting stuff. You're you're you're, you're good at that, and uh, we want to encourage you to da da da. I said okay. Good. They said well look, uh, uh, you, you when was, when you went when you went the lights you have you take orders through through the com, through the headphones through the com uh, from the uh, from the stage manager, and I, I guess I got along very good with the, the stage manager for for Daddy Goodness, which was uh, at, at Cambridge. Edmund Cambridge, great. He eventually became our acting teacher. Anyway, and we really wanted to, you know, if you just, you know, hang out with Ed Cambridge. What well, he would say, hang out. with say, like, basically, I would. Uh, uh, Ed Cambridge was teaching me how to be a stage manager. Okay, okay. So that, that I'm gonna now I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna keep on going on. So for for a long time I was stage manager, and then then when I finally uh, for a stage manager and learned that, hang out with Tito Sean. Uh, another stage manager was doing something. In fact, that's when I first met, um, uh, first met, first saw, uh, who's the Code 45 guy, you know, uh, you know the, the, the wavy hair, Lando Casarisian, you know, the, the handsome guy, whatever have you. Anyway, he did, he did uh, Ceremonies in Dark Old Men. He played Blue, the, 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 the cat in, the, he played a, I guess he was a pimp, whatever, in, in the play, uh, by Lonnie Elder III, right? And uh, I know Billy D. I know his name is Billy D. Williams, but I figured you all would figure that out yourself, right? Because I gave you all the hints, you know, uh, undercover brother. I gave you all the hints, Code Forty Five, all that stuff. Okay. Uh, but what I learned, and and then I went to the Air Force when I came out, I stage managing a lot. But what I learned from stage management all these years I was stage managing, is that see what what, what happens when you when you have a play, uh, when 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 people come into audition, usually it's the uh, the director, the writer. And the producer is that you audition for those people, right? Then, uh, uh, and you as a stage manager, you have to be there because the stage manager is basically the, the right hand person, the whatever left hand person, the the, the secretary for the for the director because the director says something, the stage manager writes the stuff down. Da, 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 da. But uh, but uh, but if you if you're in these auditions, when people come, you get this sense. You get this sense. If somebody walks through the door, you can tell. You can't tell if they're going to get the role, but you can tell if they can handle the role or not. You see what I'm saying? So you just get this sense. You can read people. You start being able to read people. If you, I'm just trying to, if, you, if you're a director or casting director, you start, you, you just get a sense if a person can handle whatever they can handle. Okay, I give you all that long introduction. <laughs> just to say, uh, and then, oh, I'm sorry. What, uh, and because uh, for audio, for a bunch of things, I could, and, and even with films, and like, like we used to be able to, I used to be able to look at a film poster when it comes out and tell you if it's going to be a good film or not. I talked to um, Paul Wonder about that, uh, 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 the late Paul Wonder, uh, Peace and Blessings on His Eternal Son. I love Paul. 
uh, who's a longtime critic uh, uh, in the New York scene. He was critic for WBI Radio, film critic for WBI Radio, where you know whatever. We used to go to we used to go to films all the time, and I, I asked him about that, uh, and he said, "Yeah, I do say because if you see something, you just have this sense, right?" Okay, now let's switch over to the elections, right? And I realized something. Oh, it was a when, no. Well, well, I'll get to that. I realized something when I look at Kamala Harris. I'm saying there's something off, man. It's just that that sense that that sense just sort of hit me, right? I think there's something wrong, man. This is this way. It's, it's not. I'm not talking about her word salads and all that. They say word salads. All that stuff. There's just something else happening there. The way she moves her eyes, the way her body language is, doesn't always uh, like that. She'll be saying. She'll be saying something, yes, but then she'll be shaking her head, no. It's, it's a very strange, but you, you, you pick up all this stuff, right? And um, so hold that, as, as they say these days, stick a pin in that, right? I, this is a rumor, okay? It's a rumor, I'm just saying, right? Uh, I'm just saying, I'm telling you, it's a rumor, it's not conspiracy, I'm just, it's a rumor. It's a rumor that when Barack Obama started to run, when they knew he was going to run, they was grooming him, whatever. How he got, I think it's the Chicago people. I don't know. I to, I, at some particular point, I'll look this up, right? Or I'll not look it up, I'll try to, you know, suss it out, right? Uh, that, because he did, he, 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 he started going to the black church, you know, uh, Reverend Wright, and, you know, uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Michelle brought him to the to, to the biggest black church in in, uh, in Chicago, which is also a liberation theology church, church and all the rest of that stuff. And uh, he started to pick up the black cadence. In other words, remember, he basically he grew up in Hawaii and Indonesia, was the former. And then he comes back when he comes to the states. You know, it, it, you know he didn't, he didn't have a he didn't have what we call a, 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 a lineage black you know lineage American uh, you know, background, right? So no, if you grow if you if you grow up in Hawaii. <laughs> not a lot of black people there, and you go up in Indonesia. Not a lot of black people there. I'm talking about black. We're talking about basically uh, uh, American descendants of chattel slavery. You know, we're talking, uh, you know, like what, what to call foundational black Americans, uh, freedmen, that, that kind of thing. He didn't grow up in that, that atmosphere, so he doesn't have that background. And then he comes and he goes to Columbia University. You know, they were the best friend went to Columbia, you know, law, whatever. And then he goes to Harvard, right? And so his, you know, he does have that background. But when he, but the, the rumor is that they hired somebody from Hollywood to teach him black cadence. So when you hear him talking and stuff like that, he's getting, he got in the swagger. You know, I guess you do get the swagger from the basketball. I'm not, I don't know about that stuff. Anyway, so he got this, he, he, he got the black affectations. Oh, the brother used a big word. I want to, affect, affect, affectations. Sounds good, whatever it means, right? So he picked up the, the, the that. So so when he's talking, he gets that black cadence. And so when he does that, um, uh, like like when he's singing Al Green, he has some singing kind of chops like that. So, but they say it was shaped by basically some coach in Hollywood. Now you can get voice coaches, and like, like for instance, I uh, I can't carry a tune. Uh, I don't carry a tune. Um, but uh, there's well, I'm, I'm sorry, I go off all the time. But I got to do this right. Uh, I did an initiative here in, in, in South Africa, in Cape Town, actually, uh, called Pan African Space Station. And Neil Nyanga, he's, he's a, he, uh, Antonio Neil, those are the people that, 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 that started it, uh, that, that initiated it, you know, the, the, they call them the curators of it. I was the production engineer for it, so like the third wheel, you know. It was only, anyway, so, so and, 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 you know, and, and this, we, it was an initial, a, a, uh, what do you call that, a, uh, a, a, a music initiative, but we have these, uh, and at night, you know, we have these uh, like sessions because you had a DJ session like that, and I'm a dancer, so I have to tell you about that. So you know, at that party, I'm dancing on the dance floor, and I told I told Neil, I said, oh, I can't sing, blah, blah, blah. and so the music's playing, so I'm sort of singing under my breath, you know, holding right there, and he's coming past me on the dance floor, he said, yes, you can, you can sing. He keeps on going. Now, he's a professional musician. He do quiet, you know, he's like Dean Bowman, you know what I mean? He, 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 doing whole mass choirs and stuff like that. And I say, they, they say, if you can talk, you can sing, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and have just a matter of other things. And I'm going like, you know something? If I did a voice coach, if I did whatever, then perhaps I could sing. 
So let's go Barack Obama. Perhaps he can sing. Uh, you know, well, well, Barack Obama. So he can sing, right? But what's her name? The, the Harris woman? Uh, there's something about her where you say she's been coached, but she can't take the coaching right. And there's this whole thing that uh, I know I'm going to mention to alienate people now that Candace is doing, Candace Owens is doing this whole thing about her background and stuff like that. And then there's other people that say she's basically her mother was a uh, MK Ultra. And if you look at her, a lot of stuff is her brain is scrambled. So she's like MK Ultra. That's what that's what they're saying. She's like, uh, talk about there, there, there's, there's, there's mechanical bots. She's like a bot. Uh, uh, but a uh, a human bot, you know, and it's like strange, you know. You look at her and you go like, "What's going on?" And you 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 keep trying to put things together, and it doesn't get together. And uh, and I'm thinking like, she is Obama. Um, I put uh, you know 1.0 or whatever it is because they have sort of groomed her. They did they're, they're programming her and stuff like that. And the thing that the, the contrast, especially with I'm not really. I want to do the Trump thing, but Trump is just so authentic. But she's not authentic. But what's more interesting to me is that don't, it's like, I don't think I'm a genius or nothing like that, but don't other people see what I see? So all these people have chosen uh, uh, vote blue no matter who, or uh, she's the first woman. And, and you're going like, huh? And here's the really interesting thing. For up until about, I would say, two months ago, you know, you, you kept on coming uh, Kamala, are you black? She's no, no, I'm not black. Whatever she's saying, but then all of a sudden, she wouldn't really fess up to saying that she's black. She would say, but she wouldn't say that. Where about two months ago, I noticed that her her uh, voice, her her delivery, she she started hammering because people say you're not black anymore. She kept on saying I'm black, I'm black. Then she, if you if you go back and you look, it's like she kept on saying I'm black, 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 I'm black. and. I'm going like, but you never wanted to be black for about three months ago. You didn't, you didn't really say it all the time. You, but now, all of a sudden, almost like you almost like saying you're black to identify with with with, with black people. And I'm going like, this is very suspect, you know. And I, here's what I'm saying: people, pay attention. Trust your instincts. Don't trust uh, uh, celebrities telling you what. What, what's what's going on? Don't trust uh, 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 new news media telling you what to do. Um, you have to really, you have to do your own research. So let me stop there because I'm just going to meander, meander, meander. Um, but I really said this. I, I'm not going. This is the most important election. It, it doesn't matter. The, the, the forces that be are the forces that be. They 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 got whatever they got. But it's hilarious to me. I'm to tell you the truth. I wish it, I'm a chocolate. Person. I like chocolate, right? I mean, so I'm, I'm someone like, I'm looking at this whole stuff from afar because I have to look it over through the internet. I'm going like, where's my chocolate covered popcorn? This is getting real interesting, right? And then you got the whole thing with the, the, the waltzy guy, the, the, the one, you know, uh, Kamala's waltzing around with some, some dude, right? And he's a wacko. He's like, whoa, you know? And all they can think of is they're so, so zoned in on Trump that even the policies they're supposed to be talking about, nobody talks about that stuff. In fact, that's the interesting thing. Uh, 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 Trump and uh, the JD guy, they talk about policy. They say, well, I think I'm going to do that. I have to look into that. Da, 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 da. Kamala and, and, and the Waltz, and who she's waltzing with, they they don't even talk about, I'm going to look into it. They just say, Trump is bad. Trump is bad. And then you got the, what they call this, we, we call the surrogates and the, and the tethers and the, uh, and we, what do you call that? The, the, the uh, whatever, the, the agents <laughs> of, of the Democrat, the, the Democrat shills. They are all like you ask them something and they don't, you know. It's 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 a wild thing. I was watching Shay. I know. I said Shay. I was going to say Sway. I was going to say Shay Butter Crowd. But I I swear I'm going to stop. But I got to do get this last bit out. Uh, uh, the 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 DJ favorite DJ uh, Sway. You know, Sway in the morning. He's got this YouTube thing. Whatever they got this whole team and it and. Uh, and he was interviewing somebody, uh, Tavis Smiley. Tavis Smiley has this uh, a revamp of his of his book that he had like ten years ago, whatever, twenty years ago, whatever it is. And uh, he said he's voting for Kamala uh, because uh, he's she, he's from he's from the Oakland area, 
and and she was at the time she was a community organizer then and she went and, and no matter what i'm going like don't people understand people change i mean you're gonna go this way because you 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 she used to do this but they got her they've 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 rewired this woman's brains you know what i mean and i i just don't understand to tell you the truth i don't understand anybody can go for what's going on it's it's a why it's a Ooh, it's highly entertaining. That's what I want to say. Okay, got to go. Uh, Calum, see you tomorrow. We're gonna. I, I don't know if we're gonna talk about the elections because that is tomorrow Tuesday or the yada whatever. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.